Thanks for listening to the HCH podcast. We are building a community of short-term rental hosts and property managers, plus a valued audience of industry professionals. To help us on our journey, please hit the subscribe button wherever you listen. It will help us to grow this platform and increase the amount of quality free education we can share with you, our valued audience. Also, we will soon be hosting our first event in collaboration with the Property Investor Show. Holiday Cottage Handbook Live will be held at Excel London on the 19th and 20th of April. There will be panel sessions and seminars, plus a bunch of exhibitors from across the short-term rentals industry. Tickets are free. All you need to do is register online. Head to propertyinvestor.co.uk for further details. Hello and welcome to the Holiday Cottage Handbook Podcast, the platform which helps you become the best and most profitable short-term rentals manager. I'm your host, James Farley, and today we'll be talking to another special guest in the property industry. Robert Kennedy is the co-founder of Super Control, an all-in-one property management system and channel manager powered by a pioneering selection of tools and features. We'll be hearing all about the business, which was established more than 20 years ago. Ago. Now, our goal here at HCH is to share everything you need to know about buying and managing short-term rentals. Whether you're a host, investor, or property manager, to get the most out of our platform, make sure you head to the website. It's holidaycottagehandbook.com, where you can sign up for our free weekly newsletter and download our free ebook, which offers a comprehensive guide to buying and managing short-term rentals. Also, make sure you follow us on social media. We're active on Facebook, X, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and YouTube. You can get all the links from our website, holidaycottagehandbook.com. Before we speak to our special guest, I want to tell you all about HCH Financial Services. This is a new brand that specializes in providing access to the best holiday let mortgages on the market. Their team of award-winning brokers provide an unrivaled service. Whether you're looking for your first holiday let loan, a remortgage or a financial product like life insurance or will writing. The team can also help you secure a range of other products, including residential, buy to let and HMO mortgages, along with bridging finance and equity release. To get in touch with the team, call 0333 1234 536 or email advice at hchfs.co.uk. You can also visit the website for further details, hchfs.co.uk. Thank you for listening to the HCH podcast. It's time now to welcome our special guest. Robert Kennedy is the product director and co-founder of Super Control, a property management system and channel manager that enables hosts to work smarter, not harder. Robert, it's a pleasure to welcome you to the podcast. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Good to be here. So, Super Control, I was looking on your website, you're over 20 years old, which is a bit of an age in this short-term rentals industry. So tell us the story of Super Control and how it all got started. Um, Yeah, it's certainly changed a lot uh, in the last decade or so. Um, We uh, come from a farm in southwest Scotland. My uh, parents were farmers and... uh, in the sort of early 1980s, um, didn't need as many uh, farm workers, farm labor, you know, everything changed over that period of time. And so we ended up with one and then two uh, cottages on the farm. Uh, similar story, I'm sure, to, to many people listening that have been in this industry uh, uh, over the years. We started to rent them out as, as holiday homes, uh, sort of early to mid 1980s. And that continued uh, all the way through until uh, Melinda and I got married in 1999. So around that point, uh, just before that, we took over the running of those holiday homes. When uh, that was in the run-up to the millennium, and for those of uh, people who are listening that were trading around them, they will remember that we will never have another (laughs) bonus like the millennium, well, another uh, thousand years before it happens. It was a fantastic opportunity. Everyone wanted to get away. One of the houses we had was a large home, seven-bedroom home, and it was in high demand. We had created a very, very, very basic website, uh, 
and we were getting inquiries every, I mean, like 15, 20 inquiries a day uh, from sort of September, October onwards for this millennium week. Of course, we'd sold it a, a year, even two years prior, but uh, those inquiries kept coming in. So we put a very basic, I mean, to say basic, uh, uh, as I recall, it was just a table with some dates and whether they were available or booked on our uh, very basic website in order to try and combat this uh, flood of inquiries. Online booking was in its infancy if it existed at all back then, but this was almost the opposite to try and uh, uh, push people away. Over the next couple of years, that did evolve into a very basic online booking platform. <clears throat> um, I was the developer uh, and Melinda mostly in charge of the marketing. Um, that evolved into something strong enough. By 2001, we won, won a national award <clears throat> in Scotland for uh, tourism technology or something. And, and so, you know, it was quite innovative, even though we're talking very, very basic. That um, gave us encouragement to start doing the same thing for other people. <clears throat> and so over the next few years, we built up a small web design business doing work for all sorts of different businesses, but there was always a core within the self-catering sector. Uh, we had a, a couple of small agencies work with us and then lots of owners or hosts that work with us as well. In 2005, six, something around there, we decided to productize the work that we'd done for all of these different clients and, and pull it into a, uh, a product which was the first uh, version of Super Control. So that was launched 2005-06 <clears throat> with the help of, of uh, some industry partners to, to uh, create something that we felt was suitable for the market. Um, obviously, things have grown quite a bit since then, but uh, that was the, the evolution of Super Control, how we got things started. Uh, it was at a time when, for example, uh, was this prior to Airbnb when channels weren't as strong as they obviously are now. So that's been a massive shift in the industry. Um, most of the bookings were taken uh, directly, quite often uh, not with online booking and payments back then. Um, so things have moved a long way since then. And, and of course, the product super control has moved a long way since then as well. Now we uh, process something around 50 pounds of bookings every second for our clients uh, with tens of thousands of properties, mostly in the UK and Ireland, but uh, uh, also in, in other markets around the world. Um, but it still goes back to that route. We still operate our holiday homes. I've been dealing with a broken heating pump already this morning in one of the cottages. Uh, so that's still part of our lives, very much part of our lives. But uh, And that core... Uh, involvement in the self-catering sector still helped root us back to where we started, but obviously uh, things uh, have evolved and we're at a, at a bigger scale since then. So yeah, it's been a, a big journey. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, and, and over nearly twenty-five years. So, so tell us about the product now. You know, who are your customers? Who do you support? And what makes Super Control stand out from the crowd? Yeah, so today. Um, our main, as I just mentioned, our, most of our clients are based in the UK and Ireland, <clears throat> um, split between owners or hosts who run their own holiday homes. And they could be someone with one home to someone with uh, a dozen or even up to 50. But they're typically you know, managing their own properties. And then property managers or agencies, as we more often call them here, who are obviously renting other people's uh, homes. So most of our client numbers are owners. Uh, the smaller number of uh, agencies account for a larger number of properties. So the, the in, uh, business is split between those two uh, groups. We try to offer a fairly... Um, 
fully functioned product. I mean, I would say we offer one of the most fully featured products uh, uh, globally for this market. So we've got everything from the day-to-day -day operations, helping guests place bookings, dealing with payments, dealing with correspondence, helping housekeepers, uh, uh, and all sorts of operational um, functionality. But it's also uh, integrations primarily with booking channels like Airbnb, Booking.com, Verbo, etc., um, as well as other functional operation uh, operations. So things to help with housekeeping or with pricing. Um, so it's a, a one-stop shop that helps our clients, whether they're a small property owner with one or two properties or whether they are a large uh, agency running hundreds of properties, there's functionality there to, that, that hopefully works for them. Everything we do, we try to make sure that we're helping our clients either make money, uh, save time, or uh, take more control of their business. Uh, and, and these are really strong pillars that we, we live by, trying to make sure that everything that we do helps uh, support our clients in that way. There are so many property management softwares and property management solutions now. Um, obviously, you've probably one of the first on the market. Um, how have you coped over the years with so much competition coming into the market? And, and what do you think when you see a new platform rise up and say, oh, here's the latest PMS? Yeah, and it has changed. Uh, certainly since we started way back, there were very little competition uh, but in the last five or six years, it's clearly been a significant growth area. Um, so we try to maintain our real focus and expertise on the market that we know, uh, the, the UK and Ireland. Uh, nowhere else in the world refers to uh, holiday rentals as self-catering. And that, if you look on our website, it's a very big focus for us. And that's so understanding and knowing our market is really, really important. Some uh, products that have come in from overseas haven't quite grasped the subtleties of, of this market, and that's certainly helped us. Um, apart from that, it is just that continual drive to, to keep improving. So improving our product and improving the service that we offer to our clients. It's, you know, every day we have a real uh, culture of uh, continuous improvement in the company. And so we're constantly trying to, to stay ahead and serve our clients. Large proportion of our clients come from referral from uh, other clients or partners. And so uh, it, it's really important to, to be doing things as well as we possibly can. We do find some of the uh, other software platforms that have come into the market over the last five or six years um, can have quite a narrow focus. So it's very easy to be good at one particular uh, piece, uh, whereas we've got that uh, 15 plus years of, of development to, to uh, create that really, really broad functionality, uh, very flexible for all the sort of business models that we encounter. And, and everyone is slightly different. Um, and that's also really helped us. So it's quite difficult to come in and develop something that uh, has basically taken uh, more than a decade and a half to, to create. Um, but we certainly don't rest in our laurels. It's all about trying to, to keep current, keep developing and, and keep learning so that we can deliver a better service. What do you think, I mean, in, in relation to the, the number of PMSs that are out there, do you think the, the industry is big enough to sustain them all? Is, is there room for more PMSs or do you think we'll see a, uh, a drop in the number in, in years to come? Uh, it's difficult to say. Certainly, don't see it dropping at the moment. Um, the industry worldwide is still growing, and so that uh, it, it seems likely that the the tech serving that industry will continue to grow and expand. Um, what we do see is certain uh, in in our direct market here in the UK. See certain uh, PMSs that are stronger in certain segments of the market. Um, and, and maybe there's a bit more specialization that, that could happen there to, to narrow the focus. Um, I don't necessarily see a big expansion in software, and, and maybe we'll see some fall by the wayside or 
uh, there already has been some aggregation over the last few years, so uh, potentially that would happen uh, as well. Um, but I do still, there are still opportunities out there. There's still a lot of businesses that are not using PMSs or they, if they are, then they're not, uh, they're using something which doesn't match their business particularly well. Uh, and so there's still plenty of scope for uh, PMSs like ourselves to onboard new clients without necessarily having to poach them from each other all the time. Yeah, in relation to the uh, the people out there, the hosts and property managers who might not really be aware of PMSs or you know certainly don't use them, why should they be looking at one? Why should they be looking at Super Control to to help them run their businesses better? I think you um, hit it there with what you just said: run their businesses better. So we see particularly hosts uh, or owners. Um, maybe not treating it as a business as such. And it is. There's a significant investment in the properties that you uh, uh, are are renting out and you need to get a return on that. Um, So what we tend to see is people that are taking that next step to to want to be a bit more professional, uh, serve their guests better, or uh, they can end up in very time-consuming operations, for example, manually updating lots of different channels, uh, generating correspondence to their guests manually, um, ending up with the, the dreaded double booking <laughs> because you have trying to juggle too many balls. Um, so as people become a bit more professional, Perhaps they're also wanting to get their own website. Those kind of uh, triggers are when they start to, to look for software. Um, but you are, you're right that there's a segment of the market that are reliant principally on using one or two different channels or OTAs to manage their business. And they don't necessarily perceive that they need software to help them with that. Um, and, and maybe in some cases where they're entirely dependent on their channels, that, that could be uh, fine. But when they want to start to become uh, more streamlined, actually make more money out of their business uh, and better serve their guests, then they should be looking uh, uh, for PMS software. It will it will really help them make money and save a lot of time at the same, as well. Now, like a lot of uh, entrepreneurs and founders in this space, you, you started out as hosts, uh, you and your wife. How much has been a host helped you develop this business and keep you on top of making sure that your product is as useful as it can be to your customers? Uh, It is critical uh, to have that close relationship. Uh, As I said, literally this morning, an hour ago, I was up with one of our guests and uh, of course, many people listening to this will recognize the heating pump has broken. It's a Getting slightly colder is certainly not the kind of weather you want them to be without heating. That kind of uh, empathy that we can have personally, but also that follows through our team as well, understanding the um, um, day-to-day operations of what goes on in a, in a self-catering operation is really, really important. Um, we also use our own business as a – we are always the guinea pig for any new integrations or any things that, that are coming through. So – it's very useful to be able to do that without, uh, in, in the real world, without impacting uh, clients as sort of alpha testers. Uh, and so that's very, very useful as well. Um, but yeah, it's not just us that, that are still involved in that. Our, our team uh, are, are very aware of uh, our, our business here at, at Oraland and, and uh, it's a core part of our business. You will also see, as you said, a lot of other businesses in this sector have the same experience and they've come from being part of the sector somehow and, and keep their their roots there. It, 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 it's a, a fairly tight uh, community, I think, uh, uh, and it's uh, which is a good thing. So as a, as a seasoned host then, what's the best advice and tips that you can give to hosts? Maybe they've only got one or two properties. How can they improve? How can they get better? Um, so this, uh, I'm going to uh, slightly pinch uh, a uh, uh, concept from a, a partner that we'll work with, but he will get credit later. <laughs> <laughs> and he always talks about prices, um, photos 
or presentation and partnerships. And you need to get all those things right. You must focus on your pricing. You must uh, focus on the presentation of your properties. Uh, we see time and time again poorly uh, described or poorly photographed properties. They are not going to sell. Uh, and then finally, partnerships. So it's all about how your distribution, where you are uh, going to get your bookings. Um, you've got to get what's right for you and, uh, and for your property. Uh, and not be reliant on single sources uh, of business. So getting all those th three things um, uh, right are really, really important. Uh, and and uh, there's no one more important than another. You've got to focus on all of those three things. So prices, uh, photos and presentation, and um, uh, partnerships, really, really important. The four P's, I think, that ended up being Yeah, well, fantastic. it used to be photos. It's now changed to presentation. But photos are the most <laughs> important part of presentation. Uh, and the thing that can make the biggest difference uh, at, with our own houses, we will uh, at least once a year be redoing some photos. Uh, it's uh, professionally, uh, uh, it, it's so, so important. Absolutely, absolutely vital. Um, so if people are interested in Super Control, where do they go and, and how much does it cost to sign up? Uh, so go to our website, supercontrol.co.uk, and uh, for a uh, an owner or a host, there's a price calculator on there. Uh, so you put in the number of units that you rent and it will give you a price. Um, for uh, agencies or property managers, then they would uh, get in touch with us because the, the product version is slightly different and it needs a, a, a conversation before we can put some costs around that. But just go to the website. Uh, you can also sign up for a, a free trial there or uh, arrange uh, for a demo with one of uh, our team who will run you through that and uh, run you through our product and how it relates to, to your business. Every single business is slightly different somehow. Uh, uh, and it's important that we're helping you choose the right uh, product that works for you and, and uh, in sort of validating that what we do is right for what you do. I really hope you're enjoying this episode of the HCH podcast. To help us grow, I have a small favour to ask. Hitting subscribe and rating our show wherever you listen will help us to grow our platforms and share even more high-quality free education about the short-term rentals industry. Also, if you have a friend who you think would find our content useful, please send them a link or direct them to the website. It's holidaycottagehandbook.com. All right. Back to the show. Okay, so we've just got a few questions to finish then. Uh, favorite brand in the short-term rental space apart from your own? <laughs> um, so it's a, it's a good question, and I've thought about it. I'm going to uh, – there's lots of cool uh, software products. There's lots of things which do great things for uh, our clients that uh, are not super control or people that we integrate with. But I'm actually going to go back to uh, a brand that we've been involved with for quite a, a number of years since near the start of our journey, which is called Premier Cottages. Uh, so Premier Cottages is a marketing organization, uh, been around for more than 25 years, I think now, uh, all about high quality four and five star properties based here in the UK uh, with um uh, and, and they co collaborate on marketing, but it's much, much more than that. They provide so much uh, support and advice to their 200 plus members. They have an annual conference, which is one of the reasons why it, it's sort of top of mind because that was uh, last month and we were down, uh, as we always do, to enjoy that. And it's a really, really uh, supportive and, and uh, dynamic environment. Done so much for the sector. The, the leadership of that have, have really uh, stepped up uh, to uh, help support the sector far more than just their, their memberships. Um, and we have a very, very long and supportive history. So if anyone's listening that has got four or five star properties, go to uh, look up Premier Cottages because I highly recommend it, not just as a marketing resource, but it's a, a support resource as well.
Excellent. Okay, so which individual in the short-term rental space would you like to give a shout out to and why? Um, so I'm going to cheat slightly and have two people, but for the same reasons. <laughs> um, we have been involved in this sector for a long time. One of the first uh, things that we did way back uh, before we ever started writing software was uh, joined. Uh, we're based in Scotland, so we joined the Scottish Trade Association, the ASSC, um, and became involved in that uh uh, three, four years ago, I was finally the chairman of that after a long involvement on the on the board. And uh, it was one of the best things we ever did was joining that trade association because the help and advice and the support that you get is is immeasurable. Um, so the current uh, chief executive and has been for many years and fantastic uh, support to the industry in Scotland is Fiona Campbell. So definitely a shout out for Fiona and all of the work that she and her team do to help support the sector. Um, similarly, uh, in England and Wales, the same function is performed by Alistair Handyside and PASC, the Professional Association of Self-Caterers, um, Alistair was the uh, prior chair of Premier Cottages that we've just talked about and uh, sort of stepped away from that in order to help the, the industry as a, as a whole. So I would highly recommend anyone to join one of those trade associations. You'll get a huge amount of information and advice um, and they've been there for a long time. I appreciate, James, you've come along with slightly different uh, uh, angle on this, but uh, those are uh, two people who uh, have been really important to us over the over the years so giving them a a, a mention here is, is I, I think uh, important yes important and well deserved um so what is the best advice that you can give to a new company in this sector um so we already talked about prices and photos etc um but actually and i i thought about this a little bit we uh, as we heard earlier, I've been involved in this industry since the 1980s. Uh, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I don't think our sector changed much from in the sort of first 25 years uh, since then or more even. And then it's changed radically since then. And there's lots of tech and lots of marketing opportunities and, and all sorts of exciting things which have come into our industry over the last 10, 15 years. Um, and, and by all means, take advantage of those uh, products, services, uh, expertise. But I think that the thing, it's easy to lose um, focus on all of those exciting bits. The thing you've got to get right, uh, and for anyone that's coming into this industry, uh, you've got to get the basics right. The quality of your accommodation has to be first rate, and you've got to look after your guests. Um, if you're delivering a great guest experience uh, in great quality accommodation, then the rest of it will all follow. Um, if you're uh, getting any of that, those basics slightly wrong, then the rest of it is, is significantly more difficult. Um, for anyone that's starting out, often people will start out in this sector and have um, done a uh, a refurb of a property and it's all spanking brand new and beautiful uh, don't underestimate how much you need to continue to invest in your property to keep that uh, absolutely perfect um, it's not just uh, about um, uh, fixtures and fittings everything has to be really really perfect so keep investing keep keep your property uh, at a very high standard uh, and the rest of it will be easy. So I, I would focus on the basics for people that are coming in and make sure that they're, they're getting that right. And then everything else, I hope, will will flow from there. Absolutely. Doing the simple things right will lead to success in the end. Robert, it's been a real pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. A pleasure to chat to Robert Kennedy about the Super Control story. Make sure you check out their platform, supercontrol.co.uk. That's just about it for this episode of the HCH podcast. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you've heard, you can help our platform massively if you subscribe, rate, and review the podcast. For more free education, tips, and trends related to the short-term rentals industry, head to our website, 
where you can download our free ebook and sign up for our free newsletter. It's holidaycottagehandbook.com. If you need any mortgage support, make sure you check out HCH Financial Services. Their team of brokers have access to the very best holiday let products and can also help with other property finance. Give them a call on 0333 1234 536 or email advice at hchfs.co.uk. You can also visit the website for more details, hchfs.co.uk. Make sure you get your free ticket for Holiday Cottage Handbook Live, which will be held at Excel London on the 19th and 20th of April. Head to propertyinvestor.co.uk to register and download your e-ticket. Finally, if you'd like to get in touch with the show, you can email me directly, james at holidaycottagehandbook.com. That's it for now. I'll speak to you soon.